Let us have some background to dismiss fear. Everything that happens in our body relies the family of molecules we call proteins. The term protein derives from the Greek for in first place. Proteins are polymers, long chain-like molecules with component links being amino acids. Since the chain can be used of various lengths with all sorts of twists and turns and feature 20 amino acids that can be incorporated in diverse sequences, the number of possible protein structures is intense. Some proteins are the building blocks of muscles. Some play key roles in immune functions. Some make up our hair and skin. Some are hormones and others act as an enzymes. The biochemical catalyst that control the myriad chemical reactions that go on in our body all the time and together constitute life. The instructions for making these proteins are encoded in molecules of deoxyribonucleic acid, what we call as DNA, found in the nucleus of every cell. DNA is indeed the blueprint of life. DNA does not synthesize proteins directly. Rather, it transfer the instructions for assembling the amino acids to molecules of messenger rabionucleic acid or what we call as the mRNA. The molecules then migrate out of the cell's nucleus into the cytoplasm where they serve as a template for constructing proteins by little factories called ribosomes. The requirement for protein synthesis can now be seen as the presence of the appropriate mRNA in the cytoplasm. Here in Canada, we have two lists of authorized vaccines. One is the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine and the other one is Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. This vaccine is used to prevent COVID-19 is approved for people who are 16 years of age and older. Its safety and effectiveness in people younger than 16 years of age have not yet been established. This disease is called by severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus 2, SARS-CoV-2. In general, the side effects observed during the clinical trials are similar to what might have with other vaccines. The side effects that followed vaccine administration in clinical trials were mild or moderate. They included things like pain at the site of injection, body chills, 
feeling tired and feeling feverish. Those are common side effects of vaccines and do not pose a risk to health. As with all vaccines, there's a chance that there will be a serious side effect. But these are rare. A serious side effects might be something like an allergic reaction. You need to speak to your health professional about serious allergies or other health conditions you might have before you receive this vaccine. The vaccine is given by injection 0.3 ml into the muscle of the arm. For the vaccine to work best, you need to get two doses. A single dose and then a second dose 21 days later. Based on studies, in about 44,000 participants, the Pfizer BioNTech COVID 19 vaccine was 95% effective in preventing COVID 19 beginning one week after the second dose. This means that people may not be fully protected against COVID-19 until at least seven days after the second dose. The vaccine is given by an injection 0.5 ml into the muscle of the arm for the in the vaccine to work best you need to get two doses a single dose and then a second dose one month apart based on studies in about 30,000 participants the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine was 94.1% effective in preventing COVID-19. Beginning two weeks after the second dose. This means that people may not be fully protected against COVID-19 until at least 14 days after the second dose. mRNA vaccines teach our cells how to make a protein that will trigger an immune response without using the live virus that causes COVID-19. Once triggered our body, then makes antibodies. These antibodies helps us fight the infection in the real virus, thus enter our body in the future. RNA is a molecule that provides cells with instructions for making protein. Messenger RNA vaccines contain the genetic instructions for making the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein. This protein is found on the surface of the virus that causes COVID-19. When a person is given that vaccine, their cell will read the genetic instructions like a recipe and produce the spike protein. After the protein piece is made, 
the cell breaks down the instructions and get rid of them. The cell then displays the protein piece on its surface. Our immune system recognizes that the protein does not belong there and begins building an immune response and making antibodies. Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine and Moderna COVID-19 vaccine have the same medicinal ingredient which is the mRNA they only vary on the non medicinal ingredients there are eight non medicinal ingredients for Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine and 10 for Moderna COVID-19 vaccine I wrote it on the description if you wanted to have the complete list based on some information I gathered who should not take the COVID-19 vaccine people with symptoms of COVID-19 COVID-19 patients who receive plasma therapy in the last four to six weeks anyone with any kind of acute illness that required hospitalization recently people with abnormally low platelet count people on a regular medication for an illness have allergies have fever or on a blood thinning medication such as aspirin pregnant women or breastfeeding mothers people on medication that impact their immune system old and terminally ill people interchanging doses of vaccines and anyone who had allergic reaction to a previous dose of COVID-19 vaccine.